Brendan Rodgers has been dishing out the good deeds. He saved a pitch in Fairer and last month he let Celtic get knocked at the cup and he let the peasants have a chance at a trophy. Yes, the, uh, the, they're fighting over the scraps now. The, the king has left the table Aye, the king. and the peasants are fighting over the remaining scraps. Those peasants being Kilmarnock, Hearts, Hibernian, St Mirren, Ross County, Aberdeen, Livingston and some other club that's only existed for 11 years. That was a wee bit extreme there. All jokes, all banter in there. But we've got one game on Tuesday. Oh, but you hate Celtic. You never bash Rangers. I fucking hate Rangers as well. It's all banter, man. See if Rangers, see if Rangers were so dominant, I'd be bashing them too. I wish they were, but they're not. But unfortunately, it's when see when your club wins nothing, you're going to take your anger and frustration out on the club that wins everything, and that at the moment is Celtic. So therefore, they're getting the brunt of my. And Hart and Rangers are may as well be winning nothing, like so. See if bloody Kilmarnock were winning. Triple trebles, I'd be hating them too. Yeah, good dev they were, wouldn't they? Uh, the only thing they're winning is worst pitch of the year award. Or maybe that's Livy winning that. Anyway, no, I think Livy's is better. You think Livy's is... Mm, I, I think so. I think Livy's got a better I think the pitch. I think the yellow gimmick, like the way the stadium's very yellow themed, mm. I think that looks better than the dull, blue, shitey Ayrshire no, fucking I, I just, stadium. I, I genuinely believe that the ball seems to bounce better on Livy's pitch. Yeah. I don't know, I've just seen better games at Livingston than I've seen at Kilmarnock. Yeah, I think Kelly's just looks... Just, See, I, you, no, I think the stadium just looks pish. I actually don't mind. But I don't like Livingston after what they did on Saturday, so fuck them, to be honest. I don't know why I've actually... No, I, I prefer Kelly's stadium. Oh, piss off. Come on, man. Well, let, let's kick off at the, the BS... The BBSP stadium. Do you think Brendan Rodgers will watch these games for his prison cell or? I don't After know. assaulting that Stuart. Will he get a wee fire stick in there? Ah, Celtic don't do anything illegal. He'll not be watching for a fire stick. No, definitely. BBC, right? Real radio. Anyway, let's go. Real fucking match predictions and previews right here. Two minutes of talking pish. Now it's time to get into the important stuff. Up first on Tuesday night, it is televised. We have... I believe it's televised. It is, or Fireplay. Fireplay, Fireplay, Fireplay Magic. I mean, like, it must have been difficult for Fireplay here because obviously they get two games every round and the first their go-to thing is to televise the Rangers and Celtic games, but... I think not. I think they went with Kelly Hearts for the simple reason is Kelly knocked out Celtic and they thought Kelly were going to be great this season. But in reality, I think you, I think the other game you'd want would be Hibs St Mirren. I think you'd get a good game. I think the Hibs St Mirren game will be a better game of football. Yes, Ross County Aberdeen just literally happened. I don't think really anyone cares about that Although, game. Although, if we're going to say games should be televised based on good football, should Rangers Livy be on? No, I'll get to that later on. <laughs> anyway, Kilmarnock Hearts. Kilmarnock are difficult to beat at home and Hearts are just finding it difficult to win. So, I actually think Kilmarnock, even though they have dropped off since beating Celtic and Rangers... I think they will beat Hearts here at Rugby Park. I think this will be another nail in the Stephen Naismith coffin. He doesn't seem to care where Hearts are in the league, so why would he care about whether or not Hearts are in the semi-final of the Scottish League Cup? The guy has to go. I hope he does go, and I think losing to come on. I don't want Hearts to lose, but I, I think losing will be one step closer to Stephen Naismith leaving. And it's just a shambles. I said it from day one. Everybody wanted Robbie Nielsen out. I said it was the wrong decision. We would regret it. He's the only manager that's brought her success in the last decade. He's done it twice, in fact, two spells. But no, he got hounded out the club because for one week, Aberdeen overtook Hearts. I mean, that is ridiculous. That's shambles. That is. All right, Hearts' form wasn't great. But to, to sack him over that, I, I think it's embarrassing. How can you sack him over that and from since then? Hearts have been shite. We, we almost deserve what's happening to us right now. Especially all the fans that were like, no, get Robbie Nielsen out. I want Nielsen. Stephen Naismith. Aye, well, Naismith's giving this nay wins and nay goals. Attacking football. There's nay attacking football. People complained about the football under Nielsen, but the football under Naismith's worse. And at least, I tell you what, right? See Hearts under Robbie Nielsen. Tynecastle outside Old Firm is pretty much a fortress. Hearts won the majority of their games at Tynecastle. You're talking like 85%, 90% of games. Not anymore, buddy. I mean, it fucking doesn't matter where we play. You could play Tynecastle, Rugby Park, on the moon. It doesn't fucking matter. We'd have a better chance of hiring a manager for the moon. He'd be better than Stevie Naismith and the Mitchell brothers. Like, they need to go. All fucking freedom. It's a failed experiment, right? You can't have three main men. It just doesn't work. And, this Many, was... man. and then you've got Naismith. He wasn't even the manager at first. Well, he was... 
And then because they qualified for Europe, he wasn't. He would be better off not qualifying for Europe and the whole thing. He's going to come in. I guarantee you he's going to get us third place. And we actually ended up finishing more points behind Aberdeen than when Naismith took over. So, I mean, it doesn't matter, sure. He doesn't look at the league table, so... But it pissed me off because at the end of last season he says he wasn't worried about finishing third. It wasn't a concern. And then people were like, oh, he's just saying that to take the pressure off the team. No, no, you don't fucking... No, but no one in the right mind says that. And now he's saying he doesn't look at the league table. Is this also to take pressure off the team? What a fucking no, loser. This, this if you can't handle the pressure, then move. If you can't handle the pressure, go to a, a smaller club that win, winning isn't expected from. What kind of nonsense? Uh, let, let's talk down the team. Let's talk down our objectives because we don't want to put prep. Fuck that. I know. Fuck that, man. Seriously, don't want to put pressure... I think Kamarnik will win. Imagine that. if Bale came out and said something like, "I know, I know, Celtic rate. Right? It's a bit different than Hearts going against Ferd." But imagine he came out and fucking said something along the lines of that. Uh, doesn't matter. We get first. Doesn't matter if Celtic beat us to the league title. He wouldn't. How long would he have been a job? I don't know. <laughs> we'd have got the interview. I, I tell you what, right? I think Kamarnik will win this game. I'm going to go two one, Kelly. Yeah, I mean, and I'm being generous, giving Hearts a goal because plastic pitch, like obviously, but Hearts are shy anyway, so it doesn't really matter what they play on, like you said. Uh, so I'm going to go for 1-0 Kelly boring fucking game I tell you what Rangers aren't playing well this is a great chance for somebody to win a cup a fantastic chance thanks St Mirren and we hear it all the time it's like the premiership clubs they don't try in the Scottish the Fireplay Cup and in the group stage they're, they're like it's like training games are you fucking for real you've got no chance of winning the league absolutely no chance and then the Scottish Cup is trickier because you're starting in earlier rounds at least with the fire play cup, it's the the seed, the bigger teams start. They come into it like later on. This is your best chance to win a cup. Plus, at the fire play cup, you can argue it's earlier in the season, and there's more chance of maybe upsetting the old firm than there is when you're into the stride towards the end of the season when you expect everyone to be playing to their best capabilities. So I don't understand this nonsense where the fire play cup gets treated like oh, it's like friendly matches. This is a real chance to win a fucking trophy. And the last time I looked outside of, I was going to say the old firm, but outside of Celtic, not many teams are winning trophies, so why would you throw this one away? Makes no sense. I, I just don't get it. I do not get it the way clubs, premiership clubs treat this like a, like friendly matches, especially the group stages when... If, if you're, if you're well, that's what nice with separate critical, right? If finishing third doesn't matter, therefore implying Europe doesn't matter, right? Then what matters then? Then this cup must matter. And if he says to say, oh, these are just friendlies, I know they didn't play in it, but come on, the fuck? You know, you could all, you could almost accept if Stephen Naismith, if, if Hearts were playing really good stuff, and he was like, look, I'm more worried about the performance of the team right now, and the results will come. I mean, that's one thing, but the results aren't coming, We're and both the, are shy the performances do. are shy. I'm going 2 one come on. I'm going 1-0, Kelly. There you go. Moving on, we've got Hibernian first to submit in Nick Montgomery unbeaten as Hibernian manager since he came in. I mean, it has only been, what, two games? Mm-hmm. But it's been a, a decent two games for him. Two games. He came in with Hibs sitting 10th in the league, and now they are sitting 4th uh, fifth in the league. 5th. Aye, 5th, just above Hearts. So it's, it's looking good for Nick Montgomery. He probably should have six points, or so two wins out of two, because he was 2-0 against Kelly. No, but they've signed a the manager there with an actual, you know, bit of fucking coaching about him. Yeah, that, this, is a Philosophy. Good, this is a good signing for me right now. He could turn out to be a dud, right? But at least they're taking a chance. A-League special. Well, they've hired a guy, people say they've copied Celtic, whatever, but they've hired a guy that has shown that he can win. They could have took the easy option. No offence to like a Kettlewell or, or Stephen Robson. He could, they could have just offered one of them the job. But they've went out. David Gray. They've went a different route. Yeah, they could have promoted it from within, which also is a shit idea, like... Hearts done, like Aberdeen done with Barry Robson. But Hibs have actually went out and, and they're taking a chance on a manager that has spread his wings and, fl- and flew to Fly. fucking Australia and he's won stuff there, been successful there. So, you know what, obviously, not a Hibs fan like, they're my rivals, but I, I respect their decision and I just wish Hearts could have done something similar to this yep. rather than a point Stephen Nay Smith. Nay points. Uh, I'm going to go for 1-1, submitting to win on penalties. Tough game. So you think team. Nick Montgomery's going to lose his first game here? Uh, technically lose it, but I mean, a draw is not... A draw in the cup and going out in penalties to me is not... It is getting beat, but it's not, you know, disaster. 
I'm going to go 3 2 Hibernian. 3 2 Hibs? I think Hibs get into the semi finals and book their spot at Hamden. Ah, St. Mirren are going through all day, every day. You think so? I think St. Mirren's winning the cup. Here, I'll tell if you they what, get past this, I think they'll win it. I actually, no, I, I think the way I think they've been a revelation in the Scottish football pyramid over the past what year and a half. And I mean, last season they were the only team that looked like for a while they could beat Celtic. Uh, I I would like to see St. Mirren win a cup. I think they deserve it. Yeah, you know what? I, I look at well, obviously whoever wins it deserves it. But I think if St. Mirren win a cup, you, you couldn't really hold it against them. No. Fair play. So yeah, I'm going. I'm going St. Mirren. You're going Hibs. I am going Hibs, I think Hibs will win. Fair enough, right. Up next, Ross County, Aberdeen. Aberdeen just pumped them 4-0. Is this comprehensive or will they be looking for revenge? Well, obviously they're looking for revenge. Will they get revenge? That is a different question. Yeah, I mean, I think it'll be close, but I think Aberdeen will just beat them again. I think Aberdeen have turned a corner. It's only been two games, but... I mean, it's... Yeah, it's only been two games for Nick Montgomery, mate. Come on, man. True... Um, Put it this way, if, if Aberdeen go here then lose at Ibrox, is that not pretty much the last week just been undone? It's a, I tell you what, it's another good chance for Aberdeen to win a trophy when yep. was the last time they won a trophy. I believe it was 2015, where they won the League Cup. Was that long ago? Yeah, it was that long ago. They beat, I think it might have been before that. I think they beat Inverness. Like after it, I want even? to say they beat Inverness in the final. Yeah, it was Aberdeen, I think, beating Inverness was in the Celtic final. Park, wasn't it? I think so, 2050, because I think Hamden was getting renovations or something. Hey, they brought like 40,000. Uh, yeah, so I think it was Aberdeen beating Inverness, 2015. I tell you what, Derek McKinn's had a good spell at Aberdeen, but when you look back, I think that will be a big regret for him, the fact that he only won one trophy. Yep. He did get to the final a few times, but you know he was up against a Brendan Rodgers Celtic, so maybe we should cut him some slack. Although he was also up against a Ronnie Dyla Celtic, so maybe we shouldn't cut him some slack. I'm going to go 2-1 Aberdeen. I just think they'll win. Duke and Mifoski will get a couple of goals. And I like it. I like it. See a part, see, see a part for Ross County. And, I mean, it's a difficult one to say. I mean, Ross County, Kelly. I mean, I'd probably throw hearts into the mix. I think the majority of the teams will beat Rangers at home. The way Rangers are actually playing right now. It's a bit of a stretch. I don't think it is. I think it is. Rangers are favourites to win this cup, whether you like it or not. No, they should be, but... I, no, I, they, no, they are. No, no, they are, but they're playing shite. You really need to witness it to be your fucking eyes. I went, unfortunately, I witnessed it yesterday. And they're playing shite, but they're, they're, here's the thing you need to understand. Rangers playing shite is still better than most of these teams playing good. True. And Rangers will be favourites against any of these teams. Oh, yeah! Now, the level of favouritism will obviously change depending on who they're playing. Would well, you go with Aberdeen? I'm going to go with Aberdeen. I'm go I'll go 2-1. I, I believe that's... 2-2-1's two, two one. right. Next up, worst game of football this season is going to happen on Wednesday. I can. I, I, that's not a prediction. That's a spoiler. Can Livy win? No. So Rangers are rank rotten, but <laughs> they're guaranteed to win this game. If it, if it was a... That shithole in Livingston, like, maybe they'd, maybe they'd get a result, but... Well, like they did at the weekend. I like the, the, the I no, I just can't see them doing anything. I, 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 it's going to, you know what? It could finish nil nil. I'll say that. No, actually, Livingston could not win penalties, but they're not going to score. All right, fair enough. Uh, actually, I'm going to go nil nil. Rangers to win on penalties. Holy crap! What a prediction! <laughs> That's that is. fucking shite. There's no extra time in there, not so. No, I believe it goes straight to pens. Yep. So there you go. Straight to penalties. Well, I tell you what, that increases the likelihood of an upset. It does, so I'm going to go with Rangers to win on pens. Because, you know, they're used to taking penalties, so... Penalty to Rangers. I'm going to go 2-0 Rangers. I think they'll get the job done inside 90 minutes. I don't think we'll see a great game of football. No. Nope. But um, I, I still think Rangers will do enough to beat Levy. I mean, we, it's very rare we get a great game of football involving Levy. Or Rangers. And the way Rangers are playing at the moment, I'm not really expecting uh, any, any miracles. Like, who's, who's Beal going to play in this game? Beal has... Pretty much played everyone this season that he could have played, and nothing's worked. I don't really, I don't really see his system. To be honest, I don't no. think it works. We've seen there's zero wide players. Right? I mean, all right, they've got Seema and Matondo, who basically do the same thing. But there, I think there's a serious lack of wide players at Rangers. Yep, Scott Wright, he's shite. He was playing centre mid against Motherwell. I mean, fucking centre mid, Scott Wright. Yeah, it's not great, is it? No, it's not. It's fine, but great. Soul destroying, man. Beal's got to go. And I just think there was better players that left Rangers last season. 
Yep, on the field to replace them. But I, I, Rangers will win, but... It's just the fucking shite. I, I just don't understand how Kent and Morelos played such an important part under Gerrard for winning the league. And, you know, the, and the Europa League runs. Yet Beal thought they weren't worth giving an, an, like a, a year contract extension. I mean, you could maybe argue Morelos is just, he's like wasted too much time and he's like, he's burnt his bridges at Rangers. But I think Kent was worth a, a, another year or two year deal. I can see why he did. I think, I think the team needed to be rebuilt, but it, it's not, he got rid of a lot of players that should have been there for I'd have rebuild. kept and Hadji. I would have kept Sakala and Hadji. Yep. I, I would have. I wasn't a big fan. I of the think. Guy. I think the I area kept, of the pitch that needs strengthened was the back, and then he fucking sort that out. I, I wasn't a big fan of him, but I would also have kept Cholak as well. Yep. But he, he did have a good goal scoring ratio. He did. And then you look at Lammers. I mean, I think Cholak probably scored more goals for Rangers than Lammers has his whole career. Yeah. And I don't even think that's a stretch. That's probably uh, Lammers has got seven in the last twenty years of his life. So, I mean. It is what it is. He's got... Well, that was a good technical ability, but, I mean, Rangers need fucking goals right now, man. So technical ability technically means fucking hee-haw to me. I mean, you fucking may as well throw Bret Hart in there. It reminds me a little bit of Bentner. Shite. Mm-hmm. Utter shite. But anyway, uh, I mean... Who, who who do you think would beat Rangers at home? I've said pretty much half of them, but... Anybody can beat anybody here. Rangers favourite? How much are the favourites by? Come on! I think the likelihood of Rangers winning this Scottish League Cup is. Well, put it this way: say Beale does not win this, is that him done? <sighs> Maybe not, because I... is Rangers losing to an... is Rangers losing to a team not called Celtic? Is that worse than losing to Celtic? I'd say yes. Well, in what's a, more, in what, a way, what's more damaging for Michael Beale here, right? If, if Rangers lose, say two one to St Mirren in the final of this cup. Or have they lost 2-1 in the final to Celtic in this cup, considering he's already lost to Celtic in two cups previously? What's And he's already lost them at the start of the season. Well, I think in both scenarios, you'd be expected to win. Well, what's worse? I'd say Celtic, but it doesn't... I'd say in both ways, they're kind of worse, because obviously you're actually losing it to Celtic, but then you're losing it to a team way worse than you. Come on, man. Like, I, I think he should win. I think he, I think he probably will win, to be honest, though. He should win? Will he win? I don't know. Michael Peel, hit me with it. I think he will, hi. I think Rangers will win this. So we're going with Rangers to win the cup? Uh, it's not, I'm not 100% on it, but they're, they're the best team here. We've got the best players here. Got well, the they best, do, but... got the best squad here. They, they should win this. I would say, my, I would say I'm favor- Rangers are favourites, followed by Hibernian, St Mirren, then Aberdeen. That's the order I've got it. Yes, I think any of those three will beat Rangers at Hamden. That's the order I've got it. Um, no. After that, it's, I've probably got Kilmarnock. You know why, though? I think I that believe. as well, though, right? St. Mirren are playing good, and Hibs and Aberdeen, you know what they're like against Rangers? That's when they fucking turn up. The only reason, I, I, would, say, I would say St. Mirren would be second favourite if they weren't playing Hibs. I just expect Hibs to go through because they've got home advantage. So, so what I'm saying is the Tuesday clubs have got their chance. I think come on, it's got a better chance than Hearts, but yeah, I don't, I don't think any's got a chance. Anyway, guys, I mean, all, the, all these teams are free games away for cup. True. That's where we're going to leave this. Come Wednesday, could it be meltdown? Say Beal goes out Wednesday, is he away? He might be actually. I. Yeah, he should be away. Cause I think I think getting to the final and getting to another big cup final and getting to Hamden that that could buy you some time. But I don't know if losing in the quarterfinals against Livy is going to buy you any time. Nah, yeah. I don't think it's going to buy him any time, guys. I was going to sign out. We'll be back very soon. FIFA career mode. What won the poll? Hit them with it. I believe it was Celtic, so we'll be doing a co-op Celtic career mode. However, I'm also going to be doing a, an individual one on the channel. And I think Mullerwell were runners-up in that poll. So it looks like I'll be doing a Mullerwell career mode. Or I might even put another poll up and you guys can decide which team you want me to go. Who knows? I'll put up a bunch of teams and you can decide. Oh yes, I cannot wait. EA Sports 24. It's in the game. It's in the game and this one is in the bank. So until next time, peace.